By now, you probably all know about North Carolina's ban on trans people from bathrooms based on their birth sex. And now Arizona, Florida, Texas, and Kentucky are all considering bans as quote-unquote protective measures against sexual predators. But do you want to know how many trans people have preyed on people in bathrooms up until now? Zero. Seriously. <laughs> Zero. Who said? And the crazy thing is, I don't even think Republicans give a hoot about trans people in bathrooms. This is not a real issue. This is just a divisive issue that gets people who typically vote Republican, like the religious, the racist, the xenophobic, and the ignorant, an issue to unite and rally around. And it becomes the main issue of an election cycle so that people vote around this issue rather than the issues that actually affect them, like, I don't know, raising the minimum wage, creating jobs, education, health care. Or to distract them from the fact that a Democratic president brought our economy back from the brink of disaster, created a lot of jobs in the process, decreased the number of uninsured in this country, and lowered the national deficit by, I don't know, what is it, a trillion dollars? The transgender bathroom issue is a distraction. If you don't want to worry about trans people in the bathroom, close your bathroom stall door. Because leaving it open is kind of gross anyway. Don't fall for the okie doke. Stay focused on the real issues. And that's my opinion. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hashtag I Am Over Toys. Peace.